Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good night, good day, wherever you're seeing this, whenever you see this. Make sure that you're prayed up and in the light of God, okay? Because that's where we belong. So today, I have pulled some cards. This can resonate with you or it may not resonate with you. This may be about somebody you know, um, or this may just be you. This may be past, present, or future, okay? So take it or leave it. First card that we have is this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Now, I'm not feeling like this is you at all. This is somebody else that I'm hearing. I have got an intuitive message. Like this karmic wants this divine feminine power and gifts this karmic woman wants your this divine feminine's life she wants to live this divine feminine's life she has her eyes on your possessions is what i'm hearing she has her eye on your money making ideas she's trying to i'm hearing that she wants a new start this lady doesn't have much money. She doesn't have, she has a couple, you know, a couple hundred is what I'm hearing. But like, this woman is not wealthy. This woman is envious of this divine feminine's life. This woman can be in your family. It could be a friend. It can be a sibling. Uh, it can be a coworker. Uh, somebody who's not getting paid as much. Or, um... They see that their life isn't abundant at all. They, they're very burdened in their own life. And now they're like looking at your life. And they're, I'm hearing like they're getting tarot readings on you. They're paying to know more knowledge about you. Or they're also going on YouTube to uh, spy in your life. Um... This person I'm hearing, they have a spiritual team, spirit guides with them, and their legacy, their generation, their, their legacy is crumbling, is what I'm hearing. They're looking at this lady, this karmic is looking at this divine feminine's future, seeing that it's very bright and she's going to have everything that she wants. So I, I guess like this, this reader, this medium... This, um, yeah, I'm hearing, like, she doesn't know how to read cards. And the card readings kind of confused her, so she started to, like, pay for knowledge, pay for information on your life. And it's like, maybe your spirit guides are having you to this message right now to make you aware of what this woman is doing. She's trying to look, like, she's going inward. She's trying to look inside something look inside your akashic records is what i'm seeing like so with this light um she needs to shed the light she wants to see what's going on in your future um she sees that you're gonna have a new start in life or a new cycle is beginning with you and i'm i don't know why i'm feeling like this could be a mother figure or a grandmother what i'm hearing like <clears throat> it could it's three different situations so it's a mother who's doing research, who's uh, getting messages, tarot readings on her child's life. Then there's a, um, yeah, so let's talk about this mother. This mother ha isn't married or she's in an unhappy relationship. And sh if she's not happy, she doesn't want the people around her to be happier than her is what I'm hearing. It makes her envious to see like her daughter get what she wants or not fall in the same cycle that she once fell in when she was so it's like this mother's looking at you at your age right now and she's like wow she didn't go through what i went through and um i'm not as happy about it is what i'm hearing and it's like she's trying to do like a she's trying to live her life through you is what i'm hearing so that's one situation now i'm gonna hop into the situation with the um a friend it's a friend that I'm hearing and it's like somebody who you don't talk to all the time but you talk to her like every few months or 
once a month or you just you know she just checks in on you is what i'm hearing like she calls you to see how you're doing and stuff but she's really calling you to see if um like what if what the tarot lady said the the reader said was correct so it's like she comes to you she doesn't want to make herself look very obvious so it's like she's going to communicate you because talk to you through from time to time and uh just try to connect the dots that way but she sees that and this is something that you see too because you're on here you're doing car readings this is not your first reading i know that i can i feel that this isn't your first and you know that you're getting what you want in this lifetime you know that in this lifetime you're going to meet your twin flame or your um soulmate you're meant to meet this person you're meant to have uh an abundance you're meant to have children you either already have a child right now or you're meant to have a child this is like a spirit baby in the spirit realm and she's he or she is ready to come down or getting prepared to come to earth is what i'm hearing um you may like sunflowers um i'm hearing something about oshun um maybe you're you're very happy like you still have your childhood spirit like your child spirit you know certain people they go through life and lose that that um love of life like that the way children feel about life you know the ones that haven't been abused and stuff like they're just like bubbly happy uh they're not fearful I, this this woman all these people all these women like from three different sections like i said it's a job it's a like a co-worker is what i'm hearing and it's like this woman was looked upon like as a mentor or something is what i'm hearing she doesn't make a whole bunch of money but she you know she gets money to get by in life and um but now she just wants more and she wants what other people have in life and this is between all the three women like they're all karmic then there's this one divine feminine so it's like okay i don't know if i'm making it confusing because this is a collective reading so it's like i'm getting all these downloads in my head as i'm speaking so it's three karmic women and three divine women and all these three situations are similar but in different um you know different roles so um the co-worker most definitely is not like she doesn't really like to hear about good things like other people doing good she's she's not well with like you know when you tell people like hey this is going on in my life and i'm doing this and they're like oh that's a great job i'm so proud of you she's she don't like hearing that thing because she's like why isn't this stuff happening to me why am i not getting this either what am i doing wrong do i need to be like her so it's like now uh i feel like one of these uh one or two of these karmic women are doing the readings getting readings done they're either paying or they're doing tarot themselves but one person doesn't even know tarot at all but they're because they're like in the 3d realm they're 3d based and they're but they're still envious and they still want what you want but they don't know what you know like spiritually so um yeah that's what i'm really hearing you're very intuitive like you're your intuition is at its highest you probably already been getting nudges like this woman this lady don't really like me for her i feel like this lady i just feel weird energy around her when i talk to her when i see her even it's like it's the energy how are you feeling like when you call somebody you talking to somebody they're telling you good things but you're feeling something different right go with the feeling and not with what they're saying because the feeling is your intuition knowing the truth of the situation so yeah these women these karmic women are burdened they're very burdened in their lives and they're not happy with what they've created for themselves so now they're looking at your plate and they're like oh i want what she wants she doesn't seem like she's up all night crying unhappy when the one of these ladies are drinking they're a drinker they drink wine or um they indulge on something after they get out of work or um on a weekend they like to do this um they see that you're working you're you're working you're focused on what you've been building right you're looking at uh looking back at what you've done looking back like looking back at the steps that you've um climbed on you know these stepping stools of life uh you're just 
looking at the work that you're doing and you know that the time that you're putting in, you're putting work within yourself or within your relationship because you could be in a relationship already and this woman is eyeing your relationship and she's wondering like, how can I get that? And if I can't get it, I'm going to try to do some spells to break them up or like make them uncomfortable or make her uncomfortable. So since these people, these women are uncomfortable, they're trying to make the divine feminines uncomfortable. Like you divine feminines are comfortable within your skin. You, you know, we all have things we're working on ourselves with, but these women, they don't know about divine energy. They don't know about the divine feminine. They're straight karmic women and they need healing and they need help and they need to uh, go on a different path. So it's like, I don't know if you're leaving a job or you're just choosing different for yourself, a different option and they wanted you to choose the other one, but you chose this direction. You made this decision instead of the decision they wanted you to make. So what I'm hearing is like, you're not a people pleaser at all. Uh, and you're not mean, like you don't just come up to people and just tell them what it is. But some, some of you women do, Divine Family, you do tell them what it is. But some of you like to, you know, just keep the peace, you know, like just don't want to rock the boat type stuff. So it's like, yeah, I'm just feeling weird energy from that. Like, why are you pulling cards on me? Why are you trying to know my information? Why are you trying to know who my man is? Why are you... Why do you want my life? Like, it's like these women, they're starting to, maybe if they can, it's like this one lady who's going to this reader, she's trying to see if she can like bind you to or cut. Like she wants to think like you. She wants to, cause maybe if she thinks like you, she'll act like you, talk like you, or just, she just wants to find a way to get into your life. You know, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, what else do we need to know from this thread? This woman, she wants, it's like she's going to try to, she's going to try to pay this lady to confuse you on who your masculine is or try to cause conflict with your masculine. She wants um, you to leave him or to argue with him. That's what I'm hearing. She wants you, because you have an emperor. Either he's coming your way or he's about to come your way or he's in your way right now. He's. You know, he, you're aware of him, but it's like she wants you to be confused on if he's the right choice. Because if you're confused, you won't be committed. And then she can try to slip in and try to, like, be with him or have financial success with him. Maybe the guy that you're talking to has money and she realizes that he has money and then you're going to be in a better situation. Um, maybe she's trying to have... Yeah, I've seen a magician come out in a page of wands. So it's like she wants to have, I, I don't want to say this, but I have to say it. I have to, but it's just like she's paying this lady to bring another suitor your way. So instead of you having the emperor, or she's going to try to make this emperor become a page. And the page of wands is just, you see, he he's still out and about. He still want to party. He want to be life at a party. He, this this kind of seems self-centered. Like she wants this guy to be selfish, self-centered, not treat you right. So she might do like spells or something to make him not like you or make you guys argue about something. Um, or she's wishing in her head. It's like even if she's not, because it's like we don't understand how powerful we are with our words. It's like she's wishing it without paying is what I'm hearing. It's another girl who's wishing it without paying. She's saying like I in her head. She's like, I want her to be in conflict. I want her to have some burdens. I want her to be, I want her to compete. Like, that's what she's saying in her head. Uh, you need to put boundaries up with this woman is what I'm hearing because she wants you to be single like her. She just doesn't like people who are loved, like who are loved and she's not getting loved. Maybe she had, she has a family and her family don't love her or She's not a good mother, or she's not a good sister, brother, and people don't really talk to her much. Uh, yeah, right here I'm seeing the Ten of Wands and the family with it. So it's like maybe her family situation isn't going as good, her relationship, or she's an ex-wife or something like that. And so she's just bitter. I'm hearing just a bitter woman. These are bitter karmic women who want to be in... The divine feminine's life. They want to live your life. They want to dress like you. They just, they, and I don't feel like they want to like harm you in any type of way. 
but they just have that jealousy and envious spirit within them that's uh making them unhappy with your happiness like they don't like i said they just don't want you to be happy <laughs> that's just the end of it but like maybe if this woman is like still trying to um yeah she wants your family foundation to be ending like she wants it to end she doesn't want this to be going on in your life look at the kids happy mother and father they're happy look at their they're celebrating they're just like in peace she wants it to end literally i don't want you guys to be happy i want to rain on your parade that's what she wants to do i want to rain she's that horse on that horn on that thing trying to rain on your parade so crazy but um yeah if this woman is bothering you more or something like that maybe you should tell your boss or maybe you should just confront her not in a mean way or anything i know my voice sounds like if i'm confronting a girl right now with this tone it probably will rub them the wrong way but it's like sometimes you just gotta say like hey do you have a problem with me not in a mad way like do you want to fight but it's like hey i've noticed like my me and your energy has been weird today this week this month and or just cut them off like if they're not if you're not working with them just cut that person off uh if this is a mother you need to cut her off because she she wants to live in your she wants to live through you and if you don't make the decisions that she want wants you to make, it's like she's not going to be completely happy for you. She's always going to have that bitter thoughts, those bitter thoughts. And thoughts are literally casting spells on people. People don't understand how powerful their thoughts are. People don't understand how powerful they are. We are all powerful, right? We have the power to manifest and create. But with our thoughts, we don't say positive things towards people. So it's like if you, if you say you see a car that's racing right and then you're like and i'm knocking on wood so you see a car that's racing and you're like oh they're gonna get in a car crash driving like that that's literally a spell like you literally like obviously this person knows like they know if they're driving fast in the car really fast they know regardless if they admit it they know that they can they can get killed they can hurt themselves or other people but the fact that you added your energy to it and then boom they get in a car crash and then you're like i told you they were going to get a car crash that's because you put that energy out instead of saying god please tell that person to slow down in that car god please slow that car down so they don't get hurt and we're just we're just only and i'm i'm not like that though but it's like when i see a situation or people going through something I don't sit there and be like, oh, I hope that don't happen, or I hope she don't cheat on him, or I hope she know he, like, it's like all that weird stuff. We don't want to hear it. And that's like the, what these women are doing. They're just saying negative stuff about your life because they want to have that position. If they were getting what you were getting, if they were getting the man of their dreams, the family of their dreams, if they were getting the business that they wanted or the company that they wanted, if they was getting that stuff, they wouldn't be saying this and they wouldn't be feeling this way about you or your partner. So, like I said, this can be a partner that's going to come towards you um, or he's already with you. You guys are in a talking stage or you guys are already married. And um, she wants him to be lustful. She wants him to step out of his emperor energy and become a page. She wants him to be immature to you. She wants him to not give you attention. Like, that's how, that's how she wants it. But she can't have it like that. But now that you're aware of it, you can protect yourself. I would say most definitely... Uh, call back your power every single day and return to sender every single day. Say, I return to sender. I return all these negative thoughts, actions, feelings, emotions back to its sender. You know, you have to say that because it's like we're in a mental war every single day. Like, for real. So, yeah, but I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.